So in question 10, we have been given that y is equal to tan x. And using the quotient rule, we have to show that the derivative of y is equal to sec square x. So to tackle this question, well, we know that the quotient rule is only applicable to fractions. And how can we represent tan x as a fraction? Well, that's simple. We know that tan is equal to simply sine x upon cos x. So if you go ahead and derive this using the uh, quotient rule, well, we can just go ahead and calculate the following. So dy by dx would be equal to cos x times the derivative of sine x, which is just cos x. So that's cos x minus sine x times the derivative of cos x, which is minus sine x. And then the denominator would be cos square x. And so we can go ahead and expand the numerator of the derivative to bring cos square x plus sine square x upon cos square x. We know that cos square x plus sine square x is just equal to one. So we know that this is equal to one upon cos square x, which is equal to sec square x. Hence, shown that the derivative is, in fact, sec square x. So for question 10b, we've been given a region enclosed by the curve of tan x squared, sorry, tan square x, and a horizontal line, which is shown by this dotted line here, which intersects this curve at the point of x is equal to pi by four, and x is equal to minus pi by four. And we have been asked to show that the area of the shaded region is equal to pi by two. Well, just judging by the diagram, we can sort of see that the area of the shaded region would just be equal to the area of this box enclosed by the dotted lines, minus the area under the curve of the tan square x curve, uh, which is shown by this sort of white spot in between, um, well, between the curve and the x-axis. So. If we go ahead and calculate uh, the shaded area, we, we know that it will just be equal to, so the area of the shaded space would be just equal to the box area minus the area under the curve. So we know that's uh, going to be the main calculation that we want to go for. So we have to just go ahead and calculate the individual components of this equation. So first of all, let's go ahead and calculate the box area. Fairly simple because it's a rectangle. We just have to find out how long the base is and how high the height is. So for the base, it would just be pi by four minus, minus pi by four. So that would just be pi by two, just the difference between the two X values. And to find out the height of the box, we just have to simply substitute in the values for x within the curve equation. So in this case, tan square of pi by four is just equal to one. And we know that this is the height because this graph is symmetrical. So we know that the box area would just be equal to pi by two times one, which is just equal to pi by two. So that is one important piece of information that we have there. Now, finally, for the area under the curve, so if I write the area under the curve on this side here, well, we know this to be the integral of the curve between the region of pi by four and minus pi by four. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write that. So uh, the integral of between the region of pi by four and minus pi by four of tan square x dx. And from our trigonometric identities, we know that tan square x is equal to sec square x minus one. So I can rewrite this integral as such where we have the same limits of pi by four and minus pi by four. Remember, we're not doing any substitutions. We don't have to change the limits. Um, we can just convert tan square x into sec square x minus one dx. And uh, referring back to question 10a, we know that the derivative of tan x is just equal to sec square x, which means the integral of sec square x is equal to tan x. And so this integral boils down to tan x minus x between the regions of pi by four and minus pi by four. 
So if you go ahead and solve this equation, essentially we get tan of pi by four minus pi by four minus tan of minus pi by four minus minus pi by four. And just go ahead and simplify this further. This is just, there will just be one minus pi by four minus minus one minus minus pi by four. Be careful of the negative signs here. They do sort of catch a lot of people out. And this just boils down to two minus pi by two. Um, now that we have this, this is the area under the curve. We can just find out the area of the shaded region. So shaded region, as we, as we found here, the area of the shaded space is just the box area minus the area under the curve. We know the box area is pi by two. We know the area under the curve is two minus pi by two. So it's two minus pi by two. And this does in fact simplify down to pi minus two, hence solving this question.